Once again, active weather here in West Michigan. We have severe thunderstorm warnings and severe thunderstorm watches in effect. What's ahead for tomorrow? 13 weather ball is blue, not quite as warm weather in view. It's blinking bright for the evening showers and possible severe thunderstorms in sight. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Let's bring you up to date. We still have that severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 730 for most of Muskegon County and Southwest Nuego counties as that storm has moved on shore into Muskegon County. Also offshore, there's a special marine warning, not only for our side of the lake from Pentwater down through Holland until seven o'clock, but there are other storms across the lake that will affect impact the same areas. This is all part of a severe thunderstorm watch that is in effect until 10 o'clock this evening from north to south all the way down to the I-94 corridor. Let's use our severe weather uh, tool. This is called radar scope. You can see that storm is uh, moving onshore uh, into the Whitehall area right now. We're going to stop the animation, zoom in just a little bit. There is the intensity of that storm. We're also going to show you how much hail is possible in this. This is what we call uh, our hail tracker. This indication in the white and gray, very uh, strong possibility this could have large hail with it as it moves on through. So if you're in the Montague, Whitehall, Lakewood Club and Twin Lake area, you'll certainly need to be prepared for uh, severe weather in the next uh, several minutes. These storms are moving off to the east at about 45 miles per hour. So again, these are very dangerous storms in terms of uh, the possibility of the active weather coming on through. There are also severe thunderstorm warnings up to the north. Uh, they are out of our viewing area north of US 10 and they will stay away from us. But the individual cells that are popping up between Muskegon and Milwaukee, each one of those could contain large hail, damaging thunderstorm winds and the possibility of even a tornado because we are in that kind of scenario. We're going to storm track this particular storm. Uh, you can see the uh, way it just looks. It looks like a, an inverted V. There's a V shape to that and that means there's some very strong winds aloft. So there's some uh, very strong wind shear and anytime that wind gets down to the ground that could produce those damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. These storms are up to about 40,000 feet high and the uh, taller the storms are, the more gravity there is. So when those storms collapse, they're going to bring all of that weight down to the ground and that's what's going to cause uh, perhaps the wind damage and even a spin up of a tornado. We did manage to get into the warm air as that warm front has pushed just to the north of us now. And so in this triple point area uh, right around the low pressure system around the warm front, the cold front, that area right in through there is where all of the active and most dangerous storms are expected to continue to develop over the next uh, several hours. Let's track them uh, starting right now. You can see the models are showing these storms are going to continue to intensify. We'll start to see the rain here in Grand Rapids perhaps as early as 7 o'clock and then the bulk of the storms will be coming through between 7 and 8 o'clock. Look at how they just blossom over the very warm, unstable air out over the land. They'll push down through the Kalamazoo and Battle Creek areas before 9 o'clock this evening and then after 10 o'clock they start to move out of the area. So between now and about 10 o'clock um, areas from I-96 southward are under the highest risk for the severe weather and as you can can see will just stay mostly cloudy the rest of the night. Tomorrow we will see uh, just mostly cloudy skies for a little while with an occasional afternoon shower. The bulk of the showers will come through tomorrow evening and then push to the south and east. And by Wednesday or Thursday morning, we'll see mostly cloudy skies and maybe an instability rain or snow shower. Yes, it's going to be that cold and it's also going to be very, very windy as temperatures uh, drop into the low and mid 40s. Very nice after we reach the low and mid 70s today. So coming up here tomorrow after the evening severe weather, we'll see mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies with some afternoon and early evening showers. Highs from Muskegon northward will be in the low 50s where the wind is not quite coming in off the lake in South Haven and Holland. You'll be in the upper 50s up north. You'll be in the low and mid 60s with a little morning sunshine, some afternoon clouds and later on in the afternoon some showers through the evening hours and similar here in the greater Grand Rapids area. Temperatures not quite as warm as today up into the mid and upper 60s with those afternoon and evening showers. 13 on your side forecast. Upcoming weekend will be cold. We push the showers out of Saturday afternoon into Saturday night, but they'll linger now through Sunday into Monday morning and still a chance there could be some snow mixed in with some rain next Tuesday and Wednesday. So all the way around, we'll continue to track the severe weather as it moves through West Michigan. Of course, down at the bottom of the screen, you can see all the very latest information. And the thing we need to keep in mind, George, is how quickly moving these storms are. So just to be prepared. Yes, you may only have a few minutes before you say, oh my gosh, I got to get to my safe place. Thank you.